Hi, thank you for being here today. And uh, would you like to tell us a little bit more about yourself? Just as an introduction. Okay. Okay, well, my name is Rocio. I'm from Argentina. I'm 32 years old and I'm an English teacher here. Oh, wow. Very nice. And uh, how did you yeah. discover about Proof of Humanity in the first place? Okay, well, um, I have some friends, a couple. Um, they, they told me about it. One of them um, had found about it and they had already submitted their profiles. So... They told me and my boyfriend about it, but we, to tell you the truth, we submitted our profiles without really knowing what it was all about. So, um, well, it was kind of funny because maybe we were just curious and then I decided to join some Telegram chats and I got fascinated. Mm -hmm. So basically you joined because of uh, some friends that helped you join. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. And um, so, since you are very active in Telegram, and that's why we are doing this interview. So you're the creator of the yes. Telegram yes. crowdfunding group. Yes. And yes. at the moment, um, is connecting people who need help with those who uh, who can help with the registry by paying the deposit. And how did you came up with this idea? Well, this is another funny story. <laughs> we were just having like a kind of argument in the main group because um, someone asked for help and some people answered him like in, in not a, such a nice way. So a, a boy got a bit angry and he said, well, we are here to help each other. Why don't you help him? He needs the money and he can't pay for the deposit. We should do something. Well, and like all of a sudden we created the, the first group mm -hmm. and well, it, as, as it started to get a bit bigger, we decided that we needed more organization. So we moved to another group. Um, we uh, organized some information like the pinned messages and, and everything. And well, now we are like 320 people more or less in the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many? So, mm -hmm. Well, yes, what I was going to say was that that was the, the main issue that we saw, that maybe people who need UB the most were the ones who find it the hardest to join because it's like a lot of money for them. Yeah. So we said, okay, we could do something about it because the system allows it. There's this crowd uh, crowd uh, sorry crowdfunding option. Mm -hmm. So we, we said, why don't we take advantage of it? Because we had only seen maybe friends helping friends or family members uh, using this method in order to avoid transfers, but that was it more or less. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really a brilliant idea because as you said, like we are a community that is helping the community and it's really, really brilliant that people can help in this, in this sense. And uh, how many people are right now participating, helping you manage the group? Um, well, we have some administrators, let's say we're like um, five or six people. It is great because it, it, we didn't have like a, like a plan. It's on the go, we started to do like, like a lot of things. So one of them came up with a, with a bot that welcomes people. Another one uh, created this awesome um, Excel uh, file. Uh, that works with another bot that helps you add yourself to the list and it changes colors according to if you have submitted a profile already or not, mm -hmm. if you are impending registration, if you are already registered. Mm -hmm. We also um, write there uh, the, the funders. And well, as far as funders, we have like maybe like eight people funding, but some of them are helping with... Um, many funds like Umberto, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's truly really amazing because it brings out what, the, what is the true meaning of being part of a community. So it's yeah. really, really inspiring also as a story. And uh, hopefully this video will help um, get more people that can help out with, uh, with the funding. And um, yes. so approximately how many people did you, did you match with those who could fund? Uh, hmm. Well, let me see. I have the file here, but I think it's like 
more than 20 or well yes like i think like about 40 we have some impending re registration and some already registered but more or less 40 people so far something like that we we noticed that there's a an important issue that is that many of the people who are already on the list don't even have uh, money to submit their profiles. Mm -hmm. So that's a big problem because now we are just helping with um, the fund, with the deposit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like a, a requirement for them to have um, some Ethereum to pay for the for their fees, like submit the profile, um, fi uh, finalize their profile when after the, the three and a half days. Mm -hmm. And also pay back the gas fees to the founder because, well, we, we thought that in that way we could attract more, more funders. funders. So mm -hmm. the founder um, doesn't lose money. It's like he just needs to be there and be able to, to click a button that says fund submission and that's it because we make sure that the profile is checked, that it has gone through many eyes and people Mm -hmm. So it's very simple for the funder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, to minimize the risk, because probably people are, are also afraid to lose the deposit. Obviously, it's, it's a lot yes. of money. Yes. Yeah, yes. so, it, so it's, it's very, a very nice job what you're doing, despite like connecting people, also checking the profiles and everything, uh, making sure that everything runs smoothly. So it's, it's really, really great. So uh, yes, what? Yes, we have lots of people helping and the idea is that people on the list are the ones who help us check photos, videos, profiles once mm -hmm. they are submitted. Uh, we encourage them to find mistakes, to make suggestions. Um, we teach them uh, what things to they have to spot. Mm -hmm. And well, now there are some of them who are quite sharp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 sure. So. Cool. <laughs> I I just wanted to ask you now. Uh, it's not really uh, maybe related to specifically to the crowdfunder, uh, but uh, what do you think are the biggest positive sides of being part of Proof of Humanity? For you, from your point of view. Well, uh, what I keep saying is that I'm really amazed by the the number of creative, talented helpful people I have found. So I, I think that's the best thing for me. I I don't know, every day I, I, I get more surprised, like in a great way, because I find all these awesome people who can do mm -hmm. things that I don't have any idea about <laughs> how they do them, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. So I think that the community is, is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the best part is when they take the initiative and they just work on the project without being asked for it, and then they deliver something. So yes, yes, that's that's very interesting. Yeah. And I I also sometimes when there are like some arguments or some things that um, um, that come up, I think that well, that this is also like a reflection of humanity. So mm -hmm. there are people who are maybe more concerned about helping others. There are people who are more concerned about having a very clean list. So they are like finding mistakes. Um, well, the, the famous challengers yeah. whose job is very important yeah. and they are necessary. So in my case, I, I, I don't like to do that. <laughs> so I think that it's great that there are people who do. So mm -hmm. I, I, I think that is very, very, very interesting how it's like a, a reflection of a of a real community mm -hmm. like and people do what they like. people. Yeah, th this is the best. And I think like the outcome is the best when people do what they love. So it's, it's truly, truly inspiring to see people working. <laughs> it's like bees in a yes. community. Um, do, would you have any suggestions on how to improve the registry of proof of humanity? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think it, it's quite great. I think that as everybody keeps saying, it's quite new. It's a, a new project, um, and I understand that everything has um, like a reason to be as it is. Mm -hmm. For example, some people complain that it's too expensive, but I I get the the reason why 
we have a deposit that maybe some people don't some people don't understand and i didn't i didn't know at the beginning why was why there was a deposit or what um, it was for um so i think that it's very well organized and and well thought but um of course there are a lot of things to improve but i i i like that it is constantly changing people are proposing some improvements others um, work for example now there is an issue with the uh, black bars yeah. <laughs> in, the, in some videos mm -hmm. um, uh, but there is already a person Ted who is working on a solution so I think it, I think it's great so I don't know I can't think of anything right now mm -hmm. it's it's just a working work in progress all the time so this yeah. is the great part yes. of it so yes and it will for sure get more accessible for other people with time. So hopefully, as you said, for those who cannot even pay the gas. So um, yes, that yes, that's, that's very, that's very important. Some people yeah. um, predict that once gas fees get lower, that everybody keeps saying it will happen sometime yeah. in the near future. Yeah. Let's hopefully, well, in, in that case, maybe it will be um, easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that's for sure. Um, would you like to add any final uh, final comments or a no, message for like the community? Thank you. thank you, thank you for for thinking of me. And I I feel honored to <laughs> to be in this interview um, because I I never thought that I don't know when I started or when I joined that uh, things would get like so big. But I really like it, and I would like to encourage people to join to join the groups to read the information because there's a lot of information available. People are trying to make like summaries or clear messages, uh, tutorials, a lot of things to to help one the ones who are mm -hmm. new in the community, but they are all welcome. And if somebody would like, if somebody has, uh, register, has already re registered themselves and has uh, money like for the deposit and they would like to help us, that would be great. We have a crowd funders group, and there we we organize some things. And as I said, it's very simple for crowd funders. So if somebody would like to help other people um, re register, mm -hmm. they are welcome to. Mm -hmm. We will make sure to put the link to the Telegram group for the crowd funder in the info box of the video, so uh, people can just go there and click. And hopefully uh, you will get more uh, founders and people willing to help uh, because this community really needs it. And I just uh, wanted to tell you thank you for the amazing job you're doing, you and the other people inside the community, uh, because it's truly, this is truly what means being part of a community, changing day by day and helping people. So it yeah. was really, yeah. truly inspiring talking to you. Thank you and thank you too. <laughs> Great.